All right, I'm back. Okay, so I'm doing another tutorial. I'm doing a tutorial. These tutorials tonight are going to be on the product that I am taking back to Sephora. Because I'm just not feeling them. Mm -mm. I'm just not feeling them. The ones that I like, I'll do a tutorial on those. I mean, you know what? We'll be on those later. Okay. So, if you was watching my previous video about the Corez Foundation, then you you know that I mentioned that we couldn't find a powder to fit my face. So, we picked out this. Which is a cargo powder, which I believe this is a really good powder. But the problem is, this is not my color. This is NDP80. It's a wet, dry powder. It can be a wet, dry foundation. And I do believe this would be pretty, pretty, pretty on somebody. But somebody who's this color. As you can see, when I turn it, it looks pink slash light beige, right? Well, this is the powder that I had put on top of my Corez foundation, and it made it look much better than what it really was, but I don't like the color either, unfortunately. I give this powder a 9, because this is some very good powder, but it does not match my complexion, so I'll give it a 9, because there might be somebody complexion out there that it actually do and will match, and it's not mine, okay? I love the compact, because... The compact is kind of sturdy. It's a little bit heavier than the MAC compacts, but it opens just like the MAC compacts. You press the little thing down, and you open it. It has a mirror right here. And then the mirror, the mirror goes down like that. And then you have your powder puff right here, which I don't even think I've used. No, I haven't, because I'm taking it back. Um, I think it's a good powder if it fits your if it fits your face it doesn't fit my face so cargo gotta go okay but it did make my Corez foundation look much better than what it was by itself I just um I don't have any problems with this foundation I I mean this powder except for the color I think it's a good powder because you can apply it dry or wet. I recommend, apply if you apply it dry, I recommend you spray your face with Fix Plus or some type of setting spray. And if you um, apply it light, you're going to have to do it lightly, lightly and build it up to what you want it to be. Um, but besides that, I really think this is some good powder. But as y'all know, the only colors that really cater to black women is Amon, Black Opal, MAC, Fashion Fair, and Bobby Brown, um, or Black Minerals, um, Clinique, Clinique is okay, I have the Clinique Foundation, I would do a, a review on that, Clinique is okay, but it's not perfect, but it's okay, um, it's better than the Corez, I, at least I can wear it, it's wearable, um, so, if you guys out there have cargo powder and you're um, a woman of color and you're kind of my color, you can't kind of look at what the foundation I have on tonight as far as color preference because I mix my MAC Studio Fix Fluid with strobe liquid tonight. So it's not the same color that it would be without the strobe liquid that it would normally be. So you can't really look at this color as the color that I am, but if you see my arms, if you're kind of the color that I am and you have cargo powder, I really would like to know what color you use. And if it's more rosy color, red, yellow, or I think this is more rosy. Just, I don't know, people, when I go to them counters, they keep picking out beige powders. And I, I like the fact that they're picking out something that's my complexion color, but I don't like the fact that when I put it on, I look dull. Like, if you're going to give me a foundation that's my color of my face, then and I'm kind of paleish to be a woman of color. So, if you're going to give me a foundation that matches my my face to the T, then you won't have to give me a powder that has a little color in it. Because if you don't, I'll look real dull or whatever. So, yeah. But I, if you do have this powder, please leave me a message. And about what you think about it, respond to this video, do a review on it. Um, I tag everyone that watches this video. If you use cargo powder to do a video on it, I would really like to know 
what you use, what you think about it, how you apply it and everything because I like it, but it's not my color. It's so hard for women of color to find something that matches them. We really don't find foundations that match us. Rarely, um, we just make them work, basically. We just mix, mix and match, mix and match, and make stuff work for us. Because maybe if I get some money one day, that's what I do. Come out with a cosmetic line that is for black women that is really, really good. Because out of all the cosmetic lines, I kind of see flaws in all the cosmetic lines for women of color. And I would like to improve that. Or I would like them to listen to our input about their products to improve it. I mean, it really will up the sales. But hey, what can you say? So yeah, I'll give this a 9 just because it doesn't match my color but it's some good powder it's some really good powder yeah so while i was at sephora since i have a few minutes let me run my mouth while i was at sephora you guys um we tried so many foundations we tried cover xx and they had my color but the store didn't have it in stock we tried um Basically, I think I tried every foundation in that store and just something was wrong with it. You know, just people don't cater to women of color and it's sad. Um, you have to be, you know, mixed to possibly kind of meet the color range as far as foundations and stores because people don't really cater to women of color. Oh, I tried Sephora brand. Look, that looked like a really nice brand. I tried their brand. Um, who else did I try? Um, I can't remember everybody, but y'all, I tried on like five foundations at Sephora, and it just wasn't getting it. I just wasn't feeling it. I was like, you know, you just can't make me walk out the store with some fifty dollar foundation and tell me this is my match and this is what I'm gonna like. But I went for, you know, the caress because it does look like my mac but the undertone is so screwed off it is unbelievable so yeah uh no when i be getting that i will be returning it tomorrow not tomorrow the next day i haven't used it all i did was come home and um all i did was come home and like put it on in the light because i got some real good lighting in my bathroom because i I bought them 100 bulb white lights in my bathroom. That's why it's so hard for me to do tutorials in front of the camera because my bathroom has the best lighting. And I can see what's going on with my face and my makeup really good, you know, until I can, until I want, until I want to stop being cheap enough to buy one of them magnifying mirrors. But even with the magnifying mirror, I still need light. So anyways, besides that, yeah, um... It just ain't working, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying to get products for you guys that other people use and that other people don't use and try them out. But, hey, wasting my gas because this stuff don't work. But, yeah, it's some good powder. It's, if you're looking for a full coverage powder, some good powder. But it's like the type of powder that you have to put on lightly one at a time and build it up. And then I still recommend that you spray your face before or during each application to get it to look like it's your skin and not caked up powdery look or whatever so yeah if you like your cargo powder then give me a shout out and tell me why you like your cargo powder and what's the best benefits and how's the best way to use it but in the meantime this is going back to the soap okay holla deuces i gotta go y'all we got another review stay tuned